celebration of a holiday and a holy day every single day is the most important thing to lead with in your life. Good morning to the Mighty Tribe, Dr. Kiltz, Instagram, and to CMI Fertility, and of course, YouTube, Facebook. Let's see. The Marla Cat, how you doing? Memories with Michelle London, awesome. Yusuf Na Namari, good morning. GC Ama, ooh, girl444. Let's see, Maya, Maya Flavin, uh, Edwin, how are you doing? Morning, all good in Ireland. Awesome, Stephen, awesome. All around the globe, we're just doing the very best we can every single day. The obesity code, thanks uh, to Scott, suggestion would be the book of the week. You got to you got to buy a copy. You got to read it, listen to it. Uh, Virgo, uh, Virgorek, Virgorek. Good morning. It's Monday in upstate New York. Another beautifully filled day. Cheryl, good morning. Nomad, good morning to the to the YouTube Facebook team. Thanks for being here. Another beautiful day. Frank, how you doing? Co Ka Kalama, Kalamia, Kalamia, Ponam. Hello, how are you doing? Where are you at in this world? And Summer Tonbo, SoCal, how are you doing, my friend? Just thinking about you. See, I think you show up, I show up, we're all showing up together. Uh, M. Pramji from, I, from India, thanks for being here today. It's a blessed day. No matter what your, what, what your spiritual belief, food belief, life belief is, Know that God is within all of us, and we're working to be kind, generous, loving, bad, carb, no, don't it. Good morning. Wisdom Almighty, good morning. Allah's Zola, good morning. And Cher C, good morning. How are you doing today? I woke up to the carbon monoxide alarm going off. One of the fireplaces on, but the flu didn't open even when I thought it was. So uh, thank you to the Stafford Fire Department for stopping by. And uh, let's see, the, the, the carbon monoxide alarm. All these things in life, right? You, one thing leads to another. I don't know. It's a crazy, beautiful life we're living. Carnivore Joe, good morning to you. Merry Christmas. Again, Christmas is a celebration of every single day of the year, every single day of your life. But whether you're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Buddhist, Hindu, or something in between, uh, atheist agnostic, you want to see Sandra Lee, Heart House in the house. Good morning, ourancestorsfoods.com. Check out ourancestorsfoods.com yesterday. What did I have? I had bacon and eggs, and then I had some, uh, some, pour, uh, no, a, uh, a, a pot roast. Oh, it's so good. Carlson Jacobs, Wise Lion. Good morning. How are you doing? Thanks for being here. Hang on. We're telling more to show up. It's 5 a.m. upstate New York, cold, snowy, icy. Oh, it's crazy. Lots of sparkles and stars, Sandra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coco, Hakeem, good morning. Farron, good morning. And Scott, what do you think? The obesity code, I'm listening to it. And, you know, it's, it's what was the study? Uh, uh, the cows were looking at the study and said that uh, eating eating grass grass was, was bad and eating meat was good. So they ate meat, they died. And the lions read the study that said eating meat is bad, they ate grass. And then they died. The truth of the story is Jason Fung basically says, we're not rats. We're not, we're not monkeys. We're humans. The study is on a human. But the last I looked, you don't need the studies anymore. Simply eat the meat, be the master, done with that, right? And if you're going to eat a plant, minimize it and do it from time to time. That's as simple as that, right? Hey, Kev, how you doing, my friend? Beautiful day in this beautiful universe. I was watching a little of uh, Anthony Chafee, uh, Ken Berry, Bart K talk about the Randall cycle, right? The Randall cycle is basically simple, right? The, about the burning of, of glucose in the muscle and that somehow if you have a lot of fat, it produces, it prevents the glucose from being burned. Glucose levels go up. Glucose levels go up and prevents the fat from being burned. So basically, we're in this conundrum of what's the right answer. But Philip Randall, and I, I wrote some notes yesterday. Are you guys interested? Worked on mitochondrial transports, molecular enzymology, protein structures, and mammalian metabolism in the uh, 19, uh, let's see, 
30s to 60s or uh, or 60s and beyond. Uh, let me see. Where where was that? He lived from 26, 1926 to 06. And uh, he went to uh, King Edward, the grammar school, uh, New Newton, Sydney, Sussex College, Cambridge, read nature science, tripos, graduated in first class honors and in MA University College Hospital. Uh, 64, he was appointed founding professor of biochemistry at University of Bristol, where he built a strong department which carried out original research in mitochondrial transport. My sense, though, is, is that like anything else, they still thought glucose was the energy, and they didn't treat diabetes with a low-carb diet, uh, but they worked on it. That was the interesting part. They were working on it, right? Prominent diabetes researcher described the Randall cycle, the theory theory, hypothesis, that cardiac and skeletal muscle can alternate between carbs, sugars, and fat as energy, right? Theory. The alternation of energy is a theory. Uh, reduces uh, the use of glucose. So products of fatty acid oxidation in muscle reduces the use of glucose, allowing individuals to switch between fuels according to, according to their carb intake suggest a potential mechanism for the development of hyperglycemia and type 2 diabetes. More on this one. Let's see. They monitored patients on a low-carb diet and, uh, and those with non-insulin-dependent diabetes. The results agreed. The results of his studies agreed with his hypothesis, which ultimately so much science in these major universities, you get funding to do a a, a scientific study on your belief. So aren't you sort of have a bias already? That's what I suspect. Steve, SC3, good morning. Uh, and Sandy Seyfried, 19 days carnivore. Awesome, awesome. Good going. All right. So his theory was to blame fat, the excess release of fatty acids in the muscle tissue, which inhibits the glucose from being utilized as energy. It's this mechanism is still subject of further research, right? Hypotheses, theories, my friends. Basically, you know, we're arguing over the Randall cycle. My bet is it's simple, just like Bart K says, it's theoretical. Insulin, in my opinion, is required to convert glucose in the liver to fat to be the energy of your body. That's as simple as that right? Non-insulin diet type, non-insulin uh, diet. Well, basically type 2 diabetes is, is non-insulin dependent, although many type 2s become insulin dependent because doctors say, gee, all the work you're doing, your sugar is not going down. Let's give you more insulin. And then what happens? You get fat. And then we blame you for being fat. Oh my God, it's such a crazy conundrum. But I think Phil Brandel is an amazing guy. I love reading his story. Just go to Wikipedia. Great stuff on his stuff. But again, glucose is spared and rerouted. Again, like the function of insulin, this is simple. The function of insulin is to convert amino acids and sugars in the liver to fat. That's it, right? Malaya, I give up eating nuts yesterday. Finally, 24 hours, you're no longer a nut. Is that it? I know it. Hakeem, good morning. Farron, good morning. Scott, carnivores and calf carnivores. The obesity code, the book of the week. Get listening, get reading, get moving, underline, tear it apart. That's what I love of these stories. And Bart Case, great, 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 great storyteller. But my bet is, is that the Randall cycle, this whole theory, insulin is necessary to convert amino acids and sugars in the liver to fat. Done. And sugars in excess levels, along with amino acids in excess levels, are damaging and detrimental to our body, every cell of our body. That's it. We are never have a requirement to ever eat a plant or carbohydrate. So the studies are being done on humans that are never meant to eat plants. That's it, right? All right. The biggest, oh, thank you very much. Let's keep it clean as can be, right? I guess maybe, Sandra, how you doing? 
Uh, Sandra, good, good, good. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Uh, Tanbo, awesome, amazing day. Thank you for being here. Andres, 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 Alexandra, Nikki, uh, Douglas, good morning. Merry Christmas, this and every day. I'm, I'm working on this simple, simple algorithm, right? It's very simple. The, the red is the blood flow from the heart to all the cells of the body, all of them, right? The blue is the return of the venous blood to the heart. You, you breathe in air, right? Oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. You eat food, right? It goes to the belly. The amino acids and the simple sugars must go to the liver and via insulin converted to fat. Insulin resistance is simply the liver and insulin can't adequately convert your amino acids and sugars to fat. The fat cells store the fat, the excess, meaning that either way, your caloric energy utilization is less than that coming in. So you're going to store it as fat. Now, that doesn't mean thin people, you can lose weight eating a carb-rich diet, which you still may get the damaging components of the sugars, the plant chemicals, the antigens, and the fermentation, which makes heat, gas, alcohol, and aldehydes. This is the crazy simple story. So a New Year challenge, all that. Well, what's your New Year's challenge, right? Are you going to stick to being the carnivore? the lioness, the lion. Are you going to work more on one meal a day, right, Esther? Uh, deuterium depletion. We've got to work and understand that. Even Bart K says basically a plant-based diet, a low-fat diet, is is deuterium uh, uh, damaging, right? It's, it's all that deuterium damage. But a high fatty meat diet, fatty meat diet, is the deuterium depletion, which your body really, really is asking for. It needs it, right? Scott, good morning from uh, Mount Rainier, Washington State. Awesome. Raymond Atkins. How you doing, my friend? My friend and and, and Robert Atkins. Oh, we all know Robert Atkins and the Atkins diet, which was basically a high-fat, low-carb uh, diet, right? That was it. Carnivore Clarity is goal for 23 uh, we're going to be, that's a good one, Carn Marlacat, Carnivore. Clearly, we are the lions, right? We're always on the lookout for the sheep, right? Uh, Receive Boris Maya waiting uh, for the Friday morning 5 a.m. meetup. Awesome. Friday a.m. coming up this week. I will check it out with, and I'll talk to Jake this morning. Jake gets a lot of my emails that he looks over those, Esther, for sure. Andreas, Andreas, how are you this beautiful day? Where are you in this beautiful world, right? Uh, Jeffrey committing suicide. Uh, Jeffrey, 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 contraband. Uh, let's see. I didn't know Jeffrey committed suicide. I believe that suicide is a mental illness secondary to an inflamed brain. If you look at Georgia Eden and recognize that psychological damage, physical damage, is caused by a plant-based, low animal fat diet. But I did not know that. Uh, let's see. Raymond, I grew up in uh, Orting, Washington. Mount Rainier was always so pretty. Scott, thanks for being here. Again, we're really, really working on new and new and different ideas. I don't do, I don't do New Year's resolutions. But again, let's challenge ourselves. Get more to the carnivore, less to the herbivore. Remember, you're either carnivore or herbivore. And then there's this in-between, right? Uh, some of each, right? But most people are eating a low-fat meat diet with plants. That is deadly also. You got to really, really, really go at it to be the fattiest meat. That's where it's at, right? And I've got a few. I've been working on some notes this weekend. And uh, this is where I, I love to get my pencil. Basically, every cell of the body requires acetyl-CoA to make ATP. Now, the red cells, I, I believe that they're a battery. Basically, they've been released 
with enough energy production in order to take care of their function of grabbing onto O2 and CO2, releasing them at the right place at the right time. So essentially hemoglobin uh, is, is there and they have 190 to 110, 120 days lifespan. Basically, the battery runs out. The, 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 the red blood cell might have some sugars around, but we know that glucose is damaging to red cells, hemoglobin A1C, right? So ever eat, ever eat a, a, a plant? Yes, we do. And they break down to sugar. How many plants are required in the human diet? Zero. That's 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 simple, right? Everyday resolution equals carnivore with higher healthy fats in mind. Sandra Seyfried, what is the healthiest fat? It's meat fat. Avocado and nuts are not fats. They're oils from plants. They are not good for us of any significance or frequency, just like honey and 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 uh, fruit and salads are not. You know where I'm going with that one, right? Empty gut, full life. Okay, so now, if you're eating fatty meats, the majority of the meat is absorbed into the bloodstream, fats to the lymphatics, amino acids to the to the hepatic portal system, liver, and so your gut is not fermenting. But if you're eating a high plant-based standard American diet or global diet, you're getting a lot of bloating, gas, alcohol, aldehydes, right, pain damage and discomfort. So ultimately, the simplistic part is, is that if you're filling your colon with lots of fermenting fiber, they're going to make alcohol, heat, gas, and bloating and pain. And you might even not know that it's making cancer. That's it, right? Cancer is caused by plants and lean meat, but not from fatty meat. That's it. Three weeks ago, awesome. Get to the fatty meat. Stop eating the term healthy fats are animal fats. Healthy fat equals an animal fat. That's it. Uh, let's see. Mike, how you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Charlie, good morning. Fat digested in the liver. No. Fat goes to the lymphatics and it circulates around the body. Fat does not go to the liver. Fat is made in the liver. And we already know that because everyone's eating a low animal fat diet. They're eating lots of fruits, fiber, vegetables, honey, seeds and nuts, and lean meat. Turkey, chicken, fish, deadly for us of any significance or frequency. So again, amino acids from proteins, sugars from plants go to the liver via insulin converted to fat. You must convert to fat or you die. Fatty liver. See, the constant, constant, constant sugar and amino acids to the liver is damaging the liver. Now your function of the liver goes down to 20, 20%, uh, reduces 20%, 50%, and even 80%, which essentially is insulin resistance. Insulin resistance just means the insulin in your liver can't do its job, which is convert the sugars and amino acids to fat so that it can now distribute the fat everywhere so you can survive the famine. Getting fat is what we're meant to do, right, Amy? Uh, I slept late. Well, I got up at two o'clock in the morning, the carbon monoxide alarm going off because the fireplace flue was stuck because of ice. So thankfully, the alarm goes off. The Spafford Fire Department comes. The, the alarm company calls. All fine. And uh, ultimately, this is one of the challenges. And even hemoglobin A1C that binds and damages your red cells, it probably can't even grab enough oxygen and, and dump it properly at the cellular level. But when you eat fat, it goes to the lymphatics, the thoracic duct. That's why this one, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we take a picture of this, uh, Malcolm, and throw, throw it out there. Merry Christmas, Malcolm. So basically, the lymphatics drain to the heart all the fat of the bowels, all the blood, see the blood flow of the bowels goes to the liver. The lymphatics, it's dumped here, the thoracic duct, in order to circulate the fat because if you're anorexic, you're at risk of dying fast. This is the simple story. See, we've been told the lie, uh, but it's it, all of these fat cells. See, plump fat cells are preparing you for the famine. That's the simple answer. That is it. 
So if you think of it, just since we're talking about glucose, let's see, glucose, all right, goes to the liver. It's converted to fat, which goes to all the cells. It provides the acetyl-CoA in order to make ATP, water, and CO2. Simplify. See, the complication of all of this is crazy. Know where the meatiest, sloppiest, juiciest burger is at. Oh, my God. I don't know. I used to eat a Tommy burgers, but my bet is it looked that way, but it was a lot of sugar. That was it. Fat digest in the liver. No. Sandra Lee. Good morning. Long Island, New York City. Mike Ent. How you doing? Kathy, Michelle, Victor, Mustafa. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Are you? I am. I well, we're all, let's see. Christian, Jesus Christ was a rabbi and I was raised a Catholic Christian, although I became an atheist. And then I went on the journey to figure out this thing called God, right? All of our religions are a geopolitical, physio, psycho, uh, let's see, philosophical belief system, right? It's our, it's, our, it's our village, right? This is the way we lived thousands of years ago. We are going to propagate this belief system. Again, I, I, I'm basically everything, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, theist, atheist, agnostic. I'm all of that. But I do know this. We are the gods. The God is within all of us. That's it. So simple, right? All right, Trevor. And I'm in, I'm in church always, always. All that. Yes, carnivore 23. All right. What's the challenge? Even more carnivore in 23. Even more fasting in 23. Now, again, you don't have to do the two or three day fast or the five day fast. I'm believing that's not even necessary. But if you want to do something hard, you got to get, you got to do something hard. All right. My, 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 uh, Tendonitis is better. And thankfully to Dr. D. Christina of uh, Orthopedics East, right next door on a triple lane, he injected me with a bunch of hydrocorts of steroids and lidocaine. Bing, bam, back. Let's see. Be true to yourself that you have the power to be, do, create, but you want to do it with love, gratitude, and kindness all around the globe. Holistic health. I was I was late yesterday and the day before, I think, but or the day before that from Kuwait, my friends, readjusted three weeks ago. Again, everyday resolution, everyday resolution, every day you're living the carnivore revolution, which is simple. We are lions, not pigs, cows, or sheep, nor are we rats, chimpanzees, or apes. Again, well, but what about this? Look at it is so amazingly simple. We are the apex predator. Just look at all the crazy stuff going on around the world, right? They're shooting bombs everywhere. Uh, the stock market's crazy. FTX, stupid shit. What is it we're doing? Basically, take care of yourself. Then you take care of your family, your community, your global community. That's what this is all about. We're doing it better. What's Kiltz's New Year's resolution? The carnival resolution every single day, right? Get uh, stem cells for pain. Uh, I well, sure I would, but I don't. I I when I have pain, it pushes me for the solution. And are we going to get pain? Of course, pain is normal and natural. I don't work to get rid of it. I work to work through it. Right. Uh, again, I, I'm I'm doing my I I do my mighty weights every day. I do my squats. I do my writing, but mostly I do my spiritual reading every, every, every single day. So what's the simple answer? All right. Eating plants is not natural to the human diet. We can do it in times of lack or famine, starvation, right? Or it's like that's all they're feeding you. So you eat the plants. They're broken down into the sugars never required in a human diet. So we're studying diabetes, and this is what my sister Mary Ann died of diabetes at 52. What I learned, again, uh, Dr. Phil Brandle, a great doctor, but they were all working on the construct that eating plants was okay. And what did they call low-carb diet, right? It was still fresh fruits and vegetables. That's what it was. 
my friend, he's a great guy. Love the ideas and the work that he did. But my bet is don't be distracted by all this scientific cycles and metabolic pathways. It is simple. You never have to eat a plant, but you must eat fatty meat in order to be the healthiest you can be. That's it. Eternal present moment is always perfect. Absolutely. SC3. Steve, Captain Carnivore, Conover. Awesome. Would you ever get stem cells? I would. Uh, Sandy, again, we're readjusting our lives every day, right? It's always an adjustment. And don't forget to do some stretching, right? Do the stretching. Do you need the therapy? Well, I need a therapist every single day. I'm eating boiled beef in broth uh, the month of January for more healing as type 1 diabetes. Okay. Insulin depleted diabetes, insulin excess diabetes, which all of them are secondary to eating a plant-based diet. So we're still studying diabetes in a carbohydrate-laden world. The majority of the diabetologists around the world basically say, um, you can eat the plants and just cover your sugars with insulin. My friends, the sugars are deadly and the excess insulin is deadly. Insulin itself is not a deadly problem. Again, everyone blames insulin for its cause of disease. It's simply you're eating the poison. It's kind of like eating a peanut and taking, if you're allergic to it, and taking an EpiPen. Not necessary. All right. I'm going to put some more of these colorful little things together because this is the stuff I really love to do. And, and keep it simple. Acetyl-CoA, acetyl-CoA is critical for mitochondrial ATP production, right? And without a lot of it, that's why anorexics drop dead fast. Obesity, slow. Uh, basically, I just ate hella, hella meat, hella meat, absolutely. All right, all that uh, contraband. Uh, Kiltz is contraband, right? Kathy Gladney, how you doing, Marla Cat? We're working on the, even my, my, the orthopod said, well, you got some good muscle strength, but the real strength of life is built in the motion of doing, right? You're in the motion of doing and don't stop doing every single day. Again, get up early. I got up at 2.30 today due to the, the, the or maybe even two o'clock due to the, the, the carbon monoxide alarm, thankfully. Uh, huh. uh, Vargorek, how you doing? Modi Techful, how are you doing, my friend? Tarek 101, Jessica, Jessica, Amy, Smail, Smail, Ham, Ham, uh, let's see, Hamani. I'm working on these, right? Fred, uh, Frederick, old, oh, uh, Sabu, oh boy, Saba Sipirin. How do you increase testosterone levels naturally? Well, simple, eliminate the plants. See, when you eat the plants, you're suppressing your testosterone production and they don't have enough testosterone to give you the bump, but go fatty meat. And if you want to eat some testicles, go at it, but I don't recommend uh, that. I would say when you go carnivore, eliminate plants and again, do the work to lift the weights, right? And kilts now could lift them again, thankfully to the, the nice injection into my, my, my uh, tendon, uh, my, Rotator cuff tendon basically got, got calcific tendonitis. Boiled beef, Amy, slept late, take a nap, go to bed. Thanks for stopping in. We're here 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. I've got a busy day today. Uh, got to get home because, number one, the, the, the sump pump went out, the heater went out, and then we had a – and then the, the, the covers for the fireplaces wouldn't open up. Who knew? But the universe is always gifting us something. Oh, and then Miss Tia's airplane was canceled again. Uh, it's all good. All good. Every scene. Rima, good morning. Scotty boy, doctor, I'm about to squirt. Oh, my God. I love you, my friends. What do I do? Ish. Lymphatics. So the lymphatics, see, I believe the lymphatics are supposed to be moving the fat around. But because there's excess sugar in the circulation, it damages the lymphatics, the venous system, the arterial system. It damages the glycobiome. We're going to be we're going to keep on talking about glycobiology. Basically, the glycome is 
the utilization of the sugars that you get from eating the meat. See, every cell of the body contains fat, right? We're, the building block of the body is fat. And then it has these amino acids and sugars or glycans that are critical and sulfated, heparin sulfate, which is a negatively charged particle that protects the cells, right? So the interesting part is, is that the lymphatics are come from come from uh, all the cells of your body and go back to the heart, and then they have all these lymph nodes which are gathering up all the 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 uh, antigen uh, antibody tagged antigens that are tagged with an antibody to say no 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 you're not supposed to be in here right it's cleaning them out, and again the fat cells are critical for your survival in a famine. But you think it's better to be skinny. And if there's a famine or you're sick and you need food, but you can't get it, the only food your, your body needs is fat cells because the fats contain not only fatty acids, they contain the amino acids and the glycans that are critical for your survival, right? Bad carb, no donut. How to prevent uh, prevent calcific tendonitis. Well, you know what? That's one that uh, they don't they don't know. We don't know. Now, I used to eat a ton, a ton of vegetables. I think it's related to calcium oxalates and all the oxalates, lectins, phytates that that deposited there over my fifty five years of life until I went carnivore. Now, someone might say, "Kills." I think that meat is the cause of your problems. Well, if so. It's still, I'm a lion, right? Too many plants over Christmas, back on track today. Kev, kilts too. Uh, listen, from holidays, holy days, from time to time, right? Uh, pick four holidays a year if you want to celebrate with the carbohydrate Christmas. But if you want to get like Amy, where you make a, a meat pizza, where it's purely meat. And look at my good friend, of course, Maria and Craig Emmerich. Uh, let's see. Do I have my cookbook here? I thought I did. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But uh, we have some recipes in the new Kiltz's Keto is Carnivore. And let's see. I know I've got it here somewhere. One, two, three. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I took it home. I've just got stuff laid in everywhere. Uh, I'll take a picture of Kiltz's desk so you can see what he's working on, right? Gold mine, Ray, how you doing? Lymphatics. The lymphatics are critical. The lymphatics are critical for sucking up the fat in the bowels, sending it everywhere quickly because you need the fat fast. The liver's function, the primary function of the liver is to make fat via insulin. If you have significantly damaged liver, you can't make fat. You become cachectic, emaciated. That's it, right? Would that uh, that be p uh, beef pizza? Beef only meat. No tomatoes. No no nothing nothing but meat. Blood claw a cloth twice. Better on carnivore diet. Good morning from Belgium. Tanja Tanja Thiels. Good morning all around the globe. Share your ideas and information. I'm excited to hear from you of what you have to bring to the table, right? And you're bringing fatty meat. That's what you want to bring. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef, Kiltz's ice cream and salt, one meal a day. It's called the baby's way. You may or may not want to do this. Some people can't do the butter or the cream. Some people can't do pork. Some people can't do beef. Switch around. There's goat. It should be ruminant meat. Ruminant. They, they have like a ruminating stomachs which basically have bacteria and yeast, which break down the carbs into simple sugars, then go to the liver, convert it to fat, be fat. That's it. Cheese and meat, I'm thinking. Yes, Nomad. Uh, Sandy would like to know, uh, let's see, I think the crust, it, it may actually be made of either ground beef or even uh, chicken uh, for sure. Uh, let's see. Cal and anyone knows how kilts can cure his calcific tendonitis, but Rest, time, healing. The body's working to do the healing of the damage that we happen, right? Too many plants. Absolutely. 
Sandra Lee, can you help me to get a paid training course? Uh, let's see, Salty Sweet 32. You give me some ideas. Uh, again, you want to get paid for a training course or you want to pay for a training course? If you go to drkilts.com and the Mighty Tribe, we're going to be putting out a $30 for uh, uh, a uh, understanding carnivore. But there's infinite carnivore uh, uh, ideas out there. Simplicity is the way. Chicken crust. Nice. Wit. How you doing, Kanar? Uh, Midi, Midi. Oh, boy. M-T-Y-L-L-H-S. Gundry. Atatuni. Love. Yaki. Good morning. All around the globe. Busey. Oh, boy. Roberto. Thanks, uh, Kali. Uh, these are languages around the globe that I haven't had enough practice with. I need more practice. Update on pendants. Uh, I basically, well, hopefully Malcolm and I will get them on maybe in the first week of January. Uh, but they are, they're done. We're getting the chains. Once that's done, I send uh, Tosh what's necessary, right? Designed to eat fat. We, we're designed to eat fat, fatty meat. Oh, my God. I got some really great A, uh, A5 Wagyu from Wegmans, the Tomahawk Wegmans. That's today's meal. Let's see. Mansoor, good morning. L Lungil, good morning. Two tins of butter now for breakfast. Add the butter. Butter makes everything better. And Bella, steak and butter gal, and the gang. Join the gang. Right. You got to go. I'm going to be on. So so uh, let's see. Global Carnivore Month, January. Sean Baker put his stamp of approval on that one. You want to be the carnivore. That's it. Right. The carnivore eats the sheep. Right. What do the sheep get? They get scared. Designed to eat fat. Esther, absolutely. Every single day. Eat the butter. Matthew, how you doing? Danny uh, Lobad. Lobad. Sprint. Sandra Lee, again, thumbs up to you. Carnivore Pizza is on uh, asheats.com. It made my blood sugar very high. Interesting. Crust chicken and pork rinds. Uh, but again, every see, when we eat proteins, they break down to amino acids and they require insulin. You, it's I would say the challenge is, is that when you eat, glucose goes up. Sugars go up. Well, then insulin is supposed to go up. In the liver, the insulin converts the, the amino acids, simple sugars to fat. See, insulin's job isn't to put sugars in the cells all over your body. It's simply to convert sugars in the liver. Because my bet is for infinite years, you probably didn't eat every day. You probably ate every two to five days and you wanted to get fat because you hunted and you rested and you hunted and you rested and you didn't go jogging. Let me go jogging to lose weight. So I'm skinny and there's a famine or I can't find food for other reasons. Basically, we've been duped. Right, Sandra? Absolutely. Made my blood sugar. Blood sugar goes up to amino acids and simple sugars. There are many, there are many uh, glycolytic, glucolytic amino acids that basically, have you ever tasted some of the glycine? It's very, it's very sweet. It's basically, we've been duped, right? Crave, uh, why crave pizza if you can have a steak? Uh, Dirk Dell, I'm with you. I just do steak every day. Bacon, eggs, butter, beef, Kiltz's ice cream from time to time, but mostly eat the meat, be done with it. That's it, right? Parish on Hold Sandra again. Sandra, prayers. Fatty liver disease, real. Fatty liver disease is real. Fatty liver is caused by excess carbs and amino acids and lean meat. See, lean meat is just as bad as a high-carb diet. Protein poisoning and rabbit starvation. Look them up. It's simple, right? And I don't eat fake food. I, I don't need a pizza at all, by the way. But, but simply... Chronic and acute liver disease is a plant-based lean meat diet disease. That's it. So all the blood flow, see, all the blood flow from the bowels, from the rectum to the esophagus, goes to the liver. Anatomy, physiology, metabolism are all in line, right? And so 
the the amino acids and the simple sugars water soluble they go to the liver via insulin they're converted to fat but if enough of the liver cells are damaged then it can't quickly convert them to fat so the amino acids and sugars spill over into the circulation causing glycation glycation is the damage caused by the sugars that damage every nook and cranny of your body every cell every glyco biome particle of your body and basically makes your body not function properly. It's as simple as that uh, to create our own metabolic water. Absolutely. Look at, see, we are built to go days without water and weeks without food. So you're always making water. If again, back to the simple, simple uh, glucose, amino acids, go to the liver, converted to fat, fat circulated, stored in the liver and then stored everywhere in your body and circulating. You know, no one who has no fat in their bloodstream, right? None, right? And then the fatty acids break down to acetyl-CoA, which basically through the Krebs cycle makes ATP, H2O, and CO2. Simple story. Done. See you later, right? Randall cycle, Krebs cycle, uh, all of mal mal malonyl coa all these cycles are basically a little distracting, right? You don't need to know the science. You just need to know the spirit, right? That's it. Fatty liver disease is real. And basically, as you go from, from a normal liver, fatty liver fibrosis to cirrhosis, cirrhosis basically become cachectic. They don't have any fat on their body. And remember... If you go to the hospital or any healthcare related nutritional advice says eat lots of fruit, fiber, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, and a little bit of lean meat, but no red meat, right? Uh, Tom Misick, uh, I'm, I've, we're waiting on Amazon to get it linked, but it's pretty much done and we're getting it out there. We're just, I'm saying, told my team, get it out there. But then there's COVID and flus and uh, holidays. What is this about holidays, right? Uh, pure heavy cream for Kiltz's ice cream. Absolutely. No cure. Uh, uh, right. You don't want any of the, 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 you want to get the raw, fresh cream from the farm. That's the very best. Absolutely. Pittsford farm and Trinity farms, I think is another good one in my neck of the woods, but look around the woods, try to find the great farmer, the rancher, uh, buy a quarter, half, three quarters, buy a whole cow, right? God bless all of you from our ancestors' foods. Lost 10 pounds already since July. Fatty meat is the way. Tonbo, my friends, right? We are all on this journey. But to be skinny, see, we want to be lean and strong, but you don't want to be anorexic. You got to have, listen, kilt scots the fat, fat, because fat is where it's at. Skinny is dead. That's it. Uh, sure, uh, sure, uh, Cheryl O. Node avocados, avocados are deadly. Uh, that's it, right? Let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hi, Doc. Could you please tell me the name again for contact in Hungary? Oh, it's Sophia Clemens, Sophia Clemens, Paleo Medicina, Hungary. There should be a link on drkills.com to Sophia's work. Amazing, amazing. Fat clown. Let's see, very like American people, but American, uh, no think about me. Uh, where we think about all people around the globe because we are all the same. We're human beings around the globe. Same things we want and need. No different, right? No different. But then we have all these geopolitical, spiritual, religious ideas that are all over the place, right? But basically, the gods are within all of us. Namaste, inshallah. Uh, let's see, uh, Shabbat Shalom, Shalom, uh, and God bless you. Keep strong every day. Eat two times yesterday. No snacks. Awesome. Listen, one meal, one snack, one meal, two snacks, one meal, no snacks, right? But you got to put it where you want to be, right? You're the leader. You're the lion leader of your life. That is it, right? Oh, obesity code. Again, Jason Fung, amazing diabetologist. A kidney specialist and a medicine doctor from Toronto area has shared his great ideas. Fasting is lasting and fat 
is fit and great for all of us, right? Three failed transfers was one miscarriage. I have four children naturally using IVF because tubal ligation. Mariah Sorosky, polyp removed and biopsy all back to normal. 04 boss lady 88. Call Kilts. I can help. Make sure you got all the immune four protocol. Look at the family building guide. Family building guide. Basically, we got some stuff on all of this. How to be healthy? Go to Amazon. Family building guide. Kilts' keto guide. And soon, oh my God, right? Uh, Tom, I'm really, this, I am, I'm the one that's, I've, you know, put all the words. I have a lot of great help in to get this thing done, uh, but get it out there. I don't know. I should just put a PDF on my website and everyone can download it. My intention here is to share ideas as a healthcare specialist so that you can be healthy and you can take control of your life. The best thing is have faith in God every single day. Thank you, God, Lord, creator for this day. Start the day. Thank you, God, Lord, creator, for this day. No matter what happens in the world, you know God's in charge of all of it. And God is within each and every one of us. Simplicity is the way, right? Lugol's mixed with ghee is good for inflammation. Mix a drop. Oh, that's a good one. And and don't forget, carnivore revolution, a uh, really great uh, uh, tallow bomb for the body. I should mix, I should mix the, uh, the iodine in it. Absolutely. Lugals, love that lion leader of your life. We are the lion leaders of our lives. And enough standing in line like sheep. Lions are not likely to just say, oh, yeah, I'll stand in line for you. No, 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 no. No way. 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 Uh, how do so many people thrive on veggies? Well, you can you can be a vegan. You can be a vegan, you can be a vegetarian, you can be a Mediterranean, you can be a pescatarian, or you can be a carnivorian. People survive on heroin, cocaine, marijuana, nicotine, cyanide, all sorts of drugs, don't they? Right? That doesn't mean it's the, the best natural human nutrition. You can use it, right? But the last I looked, you can drop dead fast from something you wish you didn't consume, right? That's the crazy one, right? And every day, again, lead with love. Do your stretching, your Tai Chi, meditation, yoga, your prayers. You don't have to go for a run. Slow and easy, right? All right. Fatty liver disease is real. Uh, doc, prepare a mix of Lugol's. Got that. Carnivore. I'm going to do that. Rivera Cruz. Armando. Awesome. Let me see here. Who, whose birthday is it? Comment on our video about sugar and Randall cycle, carnivore vitality. I'd love to do some more conversations about that. The simplicity is simple. We are making a conundrum out of this complexity. It's not. And 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 again, we're not here to dis dis uh, uh, what's it, dis anyone. We're grateful for all the communication stories, but we need to make it a simpler story for most of us who aren't that smart, right? But smartness, by the way, is, is uh, Amur, hello. Let's see. Fatty liver is caused by triglycerides made in the liver. No, fatty liver disease is caused by the sugars that cause glycation. Thankfully, the liver is capable of converting them, but it's the it's because the liver is damaged by eating a plant-based diet. That's really the simple answer. It's not caused by the triglycerides. See, we keep on focusing on the triglycerides as the cause. Uh-uh. No animal as a human ate any significant plants throughout its evolution. We ate the fatty meat, right? Uh, let's see. Malaya, are you having some trouble here in kilts? Fat, cholesterol, triglycerides, lipids are not the cause of disease. Plants are. That's it. The plants break down to sugars, chemicals, poisons, antigens, lectins, oxalate, phytates, and they ferment in the gut. The sugars glycate. Just look up the glycobiome. Almost no one is ever talking about glycosylation, how critical it is for a sugar to bind to a protein in the nucleus, in the cytoplasm, in the ER, uh, in the Golgi apparatus. Very critical. So these are really, really, really interesting ideas, right? Toast. 
Amanda, thanks for joining me, by the way, and stop it in. Uh, your body is, your body, let's see, is moving uh, oxalates. You're having a dumping. That could, certainly. Uh, but again, I've, I've been really good, but not good all the time. And so I've got to be good all the time in order to move to that next level, right? Because there's going to be some oxalates, right? If you touch a plant, oxalates. And even in some meats, you're going to get them, right? Uh, expanding how lymphatics work, another amazing human system. The lymphatics, see, no one's talking about the lymphatics. No one's talking about glycobiology, right? And so the lymphatics are critical to move the fluid. See, as the bloodstream comes in from the arteries and the capillaries, a ton of fluid is, is squeezed out of the vessels into the interstitial space. That fluid has to find a way back. It doesn't go into the venous system very readily. It goes into the lymphatics. But if those lymphatics are damaged, you get swelling and pain and all of that. Get a paid training course. I don't know about that. Toya, how you doing? Cow lover. Love cows every single day. Sandra Lee and I am from Bangladesh. Cow lover. Awesome. Acupuncture will help with this tendonitis. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> I can remember Donald. Donald is going to do some acupuncture, but it's already feeling great. Rest is the first way to heal. That's it. Noah's Ark, we had to eat fat. Jesus recommended it instead of the plants. Plants are the predators and we're the prey. It's as simple as that. All the diseases are caused by eating plants. Some people have an acute reaction. Some people have slow chronic, right? Make you fit and butter will make everything better. Butter makes everything better every single day. All right. Anyone else get hungry when they hear fatty liver? Uh, sounds like the perfect superfood. Fat, a fatty liver. See, again, eating a fat lip, the fat, the liver is meant to be fat. It stores fat and it circulates fat so you can survive the famine. It's as stupidly simple as that. It's one of the storage, but it takes the amino acids and the, and the sugars from the plants and lean meat that you and I have been eating for way too long without eating real animal fat. That's it, right? Share low. It's good to transition slowly. Uh, paleo medicine is now called ICMN. MNI, International Center for Medical Nutritional Intervention. Ah, thank you, Mary. I, International Center for Medical Nutritional Intervention. I don't know, paleo, paleo medicine, uh, uh, in Hungary was a nice one, I thought, but that's good. And, 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 um, Sophia Clemens is rock salt amazing. It's fatty, fatty ruminant meat. That's it. She doesn't recommend fasting. You can eat three meals a day. Absolutely. It's my body, everyone. Good morning, Alexandria. Does anyone else get hungry? Yes, I get hungry, but it's, I've got duck liver. I've got the I've got these really, really, really great uh, uh, Wagyu A5 cuts, just a cube. And that was my Christmas present, uh, which I love, love. Good Yule Christmas. Celebrate Thomas Kirkland. Uh, let's see. The Sunday and 21st century, world's darkest days. I Darkness always brings the light when you can sit in the dark, right? Yule pork ribs. Oh, that sounds great. Great. A stick of butter a day brings the inflammation away. Goodbye. All right. So simplicity is the way. Basically, the Randall cycle, uh, I think it's it's a it's a theory to try to explain uh, that glucose and fat are competing. They're not. It's fat is the only source of energy for the mitochondria. Glucose consumed in your diet in the form of plants is poison to your body of any significance or frequency. Your liver can simplify, the, take the simple sugars and convert them to fat via insulin. And the same thing it does with amino acids. But basically, sugars, a high sugar level doesn't, doesn't inhibit your, your, your cells of your heart nor your muscles from using fat. The problem is, is that the fact that you're getting fatter, you think, well, it must be, it must be the sugar or the fat. I'm confused because 
It's a theory that Philip Randall supported in his science in England, paid for by whom, right? We got to understand that all the science, again, I'm all for science, but much of the published science, a lot of it is propagated by the money in order to push a plant-based diet, which basically we got insulin and we're trying to, we're trying to create a story to explain it. But the simple explanation is if fat is the only fuel and glucose must be converted to fat in the liver via insulin, it solves all the, all the problems. It really does, right? Attempts to explain high blood glucose levels, it, it attempts that. But the high blood glucose levels are simple. If your bowel is full of complex carbs since the day you're born to the day you die, is it any wonder you got sugar in your, in your bloodstream? Plus, remember, the sugar in your bloodstream is going to damage the liver, right? As the liver function goes down, your insulin can't convert enough of the sugar to fat. You're going to spill over to the circulation. Bing. Simple answer. And the glu uh, is a glucose detoxification reaction. No, no, no. Glucose, insulin isn't there to detoxify glu glucose. Insulin is there to convert glucose to fat. Simple. If you cannot convert glucose to fat, you're dead. And type 1 diabetics and liver failure patients, neither of them can make fat. The liver failure patient is so simple. Remember, everyone's eating a plant-based lean meat diet, no fat. When you eat fat, it goes to the lymphatics. It's crazy, right? So insulin secretion is not a detoxifier. It's there to make you make fat. Otherwise, you die. The kilt cycle, strong, simple. Occam's razor says the simple answer is the one. We're all fighting. Again, my sister Marianne died on a plant based diet during the time of the Randall cycle. Everyone's trying to explain the problem. And then what did they do? They call it a low carb diet. It's not, it should not be a low carb diet, it should be a high fat diet. You want to eat the fat because the fat filters through the lymphatics, it cleanses the lymphatics, it suppresses the microbes in the bowels. Never see microbes grow on butter, have you? It doesn't, does it? Uh, let's see, Randall says to explain, again, it's another scientific, we get paid to do scientific studies. The money comes from somewhere in the time of Randall it came from the same people that pay for it today. A hypothesis that I propagate is always going to be proven because my brain wants to see what I believe. That's the, that's the conundrum of the brain. It's so easy. All right, 558, the kilt cycle. We're going to work with that SC3 every day. Luki, good morning. Everyone, thanks for being here, stopping for five minutes, 50 minutes, or whatever you are. Sandra, love. Fat is the fuel for the mitochondria. That is it. Fat is where it's at. And being obese is not the cause of disease. And any animal that tries to be skinny, is the, the body is saying, are you an idiot? For the last three and a half million or billion years, 99% of organisms had a tough time getting fat. And by the way, the bugs, they store fat for their survival. They go through the same things you and I do, right? The mitochondria, carnivore, people eliminate fatty tissue and it is part of the lymphatic system. You better believe it. So this idea that, that's why again, what does kilts eat? Fatty meat, butter, eggs, bacon, right? Ah. Thanks for being here. 559. Awesome day. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Whatever your celebration is in this world, see the gods in everyone. Mm. Low potassium. Stop eating the plants. Eat the fatty meat, the liver, the bone marrow, the bone broth. Your body will heal itself. You see, supplements have not been around for the first XYZ numbers, right? All the supplements are in the last 100 years. Sandy Seifert, have a great day. Dirk Dill, have a great day. 
again, glucose is like the toxin, like a peanut to a someone who has an anaphylactic reaction to peanuts. Here's a peanut. Here's plant sugars. They're both deadly toxin for us. Insulin's job is not detoxification. Insulin's job is because we likely have evolved that we can eat plants, but minimize to maximize. That's really it, right? That's it. Carnivore uh, Veracruz, none can take our light. Shine the light, my friends. The light is within us. Absolutely. We are the light. And share the light. Be kind, generous, loving to yourself and everyone that you can ever create. Remember, we're the creators of reality through the mind. All right, a quick, a quick read from Neville. Prayer, Neville Gobert. Prayer is the assuming, is the art of assuming the feeling of being and having that which you want. When the senses confirm the absence of your wish, all conscious effort to counteract this suggestion is futile and tends to intensify the suggestion. Prayer is the art of yielding to the wish and not forcing the wish. Yield to the wish. Whenever your feeling is in conflict with your wish, feelings will be the victor, right? The dominant feeling invariably, remember the thoughts create the thing. So no matter what it is, your thought is always going to create the thing, right? Prayer must be without effort in attempting to fix an attitude of mind which is denied by the sense of effort is fatal. All right, Allah's nomad, Esther, a happy depleted deuterium day. My friends, God bless you. Awesome day. Thanks, Malcolm. I'll get some of these for you to print up.